Hey all my elementary friends, Miss Susie here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We are going to get started with our Sunday School lesson and as we always do, we're going to start with our joys and concerns, things that make us happy, things that maybe we're sad about that we can lift up to God. Um, I hope you have lots of things you're happy about. Hope you're having a really good week at school. Um, maybe we have some birthdays out there. Maybe some of my friends lost some teeth out there. Uh, maybe some people have some events planned with some good friends or are playing some sports out there. Uh, Miss Susie is happy. Uh, my dogs are doing good. And in when it gets cold, I like when my dogs cuddle up next to me. Now, I'm wondering if you have anything you're sad about today. Remember, sometimes... We don't even know exactly how to say it, but God knows what's in our heart and maybe what's making us sad, so he'll take care of it. So let's lift all this up to God. Here we go. Put those hands way up in the air and say, thank you, God, for these things that make us happy. Lift them up again. Thank you, God, for taking care of us when we're sad. We love you, God. Amen. All right, today we're going to have a little fun, and we're going to start out with a game. Now, this is a game all of you, I'm sure, know, because uh, Miss Susie plays this a, a lot when we're at VBS and things like that. We're just changing the name a little bit. So, this is Simon Says, but we're going to call it Jesus Says. Same rules. If Jesus says, touch your head, you touch your head. If Miss Susie says, touch your head, you don't touch your head. So we're going to play it, and I'm going to get faster and faster and see if I can catch any of you. So here we go. Give yourself plenty of room. I'm going to turn my camera a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay. Jesus says, touch your head. Jesus says, touch your shoulders. Jesus says, touch your knees. Jesus says, touch your nose. Jesus says, touch your ears. Jesus says, touch your nose. Touch your ears. Anybody out there touching their ears? No, no, no. Okay, let's get back to our nose. Jesus says, make a touchdown. Jesus says, make a tee. Jesus says, touch your knees. Jesus says, touch your head. Jesus says, touch your shoulders. Jesus says, give yourself a hug. Jesus says, touch your nose. Jesus says, make a tee. Make a touchdown. Anybody out there? Although I love touchdowns for the Chiefs, nobody should be up here. We should all be out here. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. Super duper fast. Jesus says, hands on hip. Jesus says, make a teeth. Jesus says, touch your knees. Jesus says, touch your head. Jesus says, touch your nose. Jesus says, touch your ears. Jesus says, touch your nose. Jesus says, touch your head. Jesus says, touch your knees. Jesus says, touch your head. Touch your knees. <laughs> All right. Wondering how we did out there with the little Jesus says. Now, as we were playing that game, we were obeying. We were obeying what Jesus says. And that's what today is all about. We are going to talk about the importance of obeying or obedience to God. Um, it is one way we can show how we love God. But more importantly, it's also how God shows us his love. He wants us to obey things to keep us safe and protect us. So we're going to have a little fun with the story in the Bible. Um, some of you might be available, uh, aware of this story. Um, this is the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> I know, they're crazy names. We're going to change them up today to make them a little easier. This is when um, they get put in the fir fiery furnace. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have a king. Uh, in the story, he's King Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, I'm wondering, we're going to have King Nate. Maybe Nate's watching us out there, Nathaniel. And instead of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, let's go with Sam and Hazel and Wade. Sam and Hazel and Wade. So here's what happens. So King Nebuchadnezzar and the people around him, um, they sort of want to catch Sam, Hazel, and Wade. So the, uh, leader, the rulers that help King Nebuchadnezzar come up with a law and a rule that um, they're going to make a gold statue. Here's my gold statue. Gold statue, and any time you're around that, you're to bow down to it. Bow down to the golden statue. Well, Sam, Hazel, and Wade know that God gave us Ten Commandments. 
Remember those Ten Commandments? We worship only God and we have no idols. Well, this is an idol. And so they knew that they would never bow down to this. Because that would be like worshiping an idol. So, the time comes and Sam and Hazel and Wade are in front of the gold statue. The gold statue. And they do not bow down. Well, of course, King Nebuchadnezzar's um, helpers, the other people that help him, see this. And they're like, ah, 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 that is against the rules. You are supposed to bow down. And they're like, no, no, we will not do that. And we know our God will take care of us. So they get put in a fiery furnace. Okay. So they know by not bowing down, they're following God's law. But they also may die. So in the furnace they go. And here's the amazing thing. Something else is sort of seen in that furnace. Like an angel protecting them. They go through the furnace and they're fine. Nothing happens to them. Because God did protect them. God was with them. And so King Nebuchadnezzar saw this. Oh, King Nate. <laughs> King Nate saw this. And he was just like, this is amazing. Your God is amazing. And he encourages all the people to honor God, the one true God. And he even gives Sam, Hazel, and Wade a job. And so by following, obeying God's law to worship only God, to not worship idols, by obeying they share God with all the people. So God's law and obeying God's law, they were protected because God loved them. And then they ended up teaching other people about how amazing God is. So pretty amazing story about obeying. So my question to you all, is it always easy to obey? Is it always easy to obey? I would have to say no. I think sometimes it can be really hard. Sometimes um, we have to do things that are hard, like maybe we have to obey our parents and we want to do something with our friends and they say no and they have a very good reason for saying no and that's hard, hard to obey. Or maybe they want us to do something at home clean up a room, help with the dishes, but we want to play on our video game or we want to go play with our friends. So obeying is not always easy. So do you think it was easy for Sam, Hazel, and Wade or Shadrach, Medrach, or and Abednego? Uh, uh, no, huh? They were going to get put in a furnace. How crazy. But God took care of them. And then he even rewarded them by giving them work and helping them spread the love of God to others. So can you think of a time when it's been hard for you? Because I know it's hard. And it may be hard in the future. But you know what? We can turn to God. We can ask God for help in having the strength to obey. And God will be there for us. We can talk to God, pray to God, and ask for help. All right, so we're going to have a little fun here and be a little creative. So I'm going to use my little whiteboard here. Um, and I am going to put the letters O, B, E, Y down the side. We know what that spells? I know it's hard because it's, a, it's obey. And we're going to try and write a little poem using those letters that teaches us about obey or maybe why we obey. Um, things that have to do with obedience and obey. I will call this, I know some of you know, like an acrostic poem. Some of my older kids. So, letter O. Things we could put. Well, we certainly could use our word obey. And, you know, maybe uh, one of our commandments is obey your mom and dad how about that for oh you may have come up with something different 
but obey your mom and dad. That is one of the commandments. B, 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 B. Hmm, what could we come up with B? Sure, you're thinking of some. Miss Susie's going to put B, A, follower of God. Something God wants. He's the one true God. Wants us to follow him, not have idols. Ooh, ooh, E. He's a hard one. He's a hard one. What we have words like enter each, every. Um, I'm just going to put each commandment. was given by out of the room by God. So those Ten Commandments, remember Moses got on the mountain from God and brought them down to all of us? They were given by God. And God didn't doesn't make up rules just to make life hard for us. He doesn't do that. He makes up rules because he wants to protect us and take care of us, and he knows what's best for us. Okay, why? And why does God do that? Letter Y. Because you are loved by God. You are loved by God. That's why we obey. We obey because we want to show God we love him. But this is also how God shows us he loves us. He gives us rules. Because he wants to keep us safe and protect us. And it, it shows us, shows God how much we love and care for him. So there's what Miss Susie came up with. Obey your mom and dad. Be a follower of God. Each commandment was given by God. You are loved by God. That is Miss Susie's poem. You know, I would love to know what you might have come up with. So if you came up with a poem... Um, tell mom and dad to take a picture or send it to Miss Susie. I'd love to see what you came up with for your acrostic poem about obey. Obey, obey, obey. And speaking of obey, we're going to have a Bible verse with obey because that will help us remember. If you love me, you will obey what I command. And now this is Jesus talking. This is Jesus talking because this is from John 14. So remember one of our Gospels, New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. New Testament. This is from John 14. If you love me, say that. If you love me, you will obey what I command. You will obey what I command. Quietly. If you love me, if you love me, you will obey what I command. You will obey what I command. Loud. If you love me, if you love me, you will obey what I command. You will obey what I command. So it's how we show Jesus and God we love them, doing what they ask of us. Same thing with our parents. When we obey, we show we love them and we respect them. All right, my friends. I hope you have had a fantastic day. Um, you can go in your Bible and find that story that we changed we had King Nate and Sam and Hazel and Wade in our story, but that story is in the book of Daniel. And you can read a little more about Meshach, let me make sure I say them all wrong, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You can learn a little more about them. You um, can have fun with your poem, send it Miss Susie's way, and I look forward to being with you all next time. But let's get those hands in the air, hands in the air. It's time to say a prayer. Miss Susie will say the prayer, and you can join me with a big amen. Oh, dear God, dear Jesus, thank you so much for helping me to obey, even when I know it's really hard. I thank you for your rules, because they're there to keep me safe and show how much you love me. We love you, God, and all God's people say together, Amen. All right, friends, have a fantastic day. I will see you next time.